Time now for the period show. Morning news for this Tuesday morning, Jerry 6, 2015. <laughs> Welcome to Tuesday morning, Jerry 6, 2015. Here are your news at 9 0 our top story here at 8.41. Here is the New York where police say a 30 year old man who has argued with his sedge fund manager, father, Finley shot his father in his New York City apartment. In Washington, Republicans are assuming full control of Congress for the first time in eight years of a day of pump circumstance and raw politics beneath the Capitol Dome. New York City police officers were searching early Tuesday for the two suspects who shot and wounded two police officers, one quickly during an armed robbery investigation in the Bronx. Politicians and some celebrities in Germany have joined a media campaign around picking up a group protest against what it seems is the Islamization of Europe. Cameron Diaz wins Benji Madden. After a snowstorm dumps much of the foot of snow in some Midwest states and Arctic blasts, the cold air will push temperatures to a low as the teens in Georgia. Well-known U.S. criminal defense lawyer Alan Dershowitz has vowed to seek the disbarment of lawyers when presented a woman who has accused them of sexual abuse her when she was underage. Pakistan's parliament up for as army trials for individuals charged with terrorism offenses ceded new powers to the military after Taliban militants massacred children at an army run school last month. Washington, the Obama administration, said Monday that was reviewed an annual $440 million aid package to the Palestinians because of their effort to join the International Criminal Court to pursue war crime charges against Israel. Iraqi officials said a suicide blast targeted security forces and subsequent clashes with Islamic State. Militants have killed at least 23 troops and allied Sunni fighters in a battle western province of Arabar. Thousands of village and Indian controlled portions of the Kashmir have been fled their homes because of the artillery battles between Indian and Pakistani soldiers along the highly militarized border, officials said Tuesday. In Boston, some of the prospective jurors who could decide that Johar Zarda's fate cut their first look yesterday, the young man accused of bombing the Boston Marathon, and they seem Transfixed by the sight of the shaggy hair, 21 year old. Two NYPD officers were shot and wounded in the Bronx on Monday night while responding to a robbery that should have took place on East 184th Street and Time Out Avenue near Fordham University about 10 40 p.m. Gay marriages get underway in South Florida. The Saxon midterm election victories in November put the Republicans in a powerful position to move their own legislative agenda this year, but as a new Congress, Convenes Tuesday, there are early signs of trouble in the House for the GOP expanded majority. In London, oil prices fell at a fresh five and a half year low on Tuesday, extended losses after five percent plunge in the previous season as worries over global system supply glut intensified. The New York the ongoing slumbers in the price of oil have started to become a headache for the stock market on Monday. Oil plunged stupid below fifty dollars for the first time in more than five years. Sony CEO, Kazu where I break out the app. Bradley Cooper is still young out. The American snapper actor celebrated his 40th birthday Monday by making an appearance on the NBC's Tonight Show. The Dragon's Dire Wolves, White Walkers, and Power Hunt with political factions and HBO's fantasy epic Game of Thrones will be in big movie theaters later this month for the big, big screen. Kate Canaveral, Florida. SpaceX says it is scrubbed Tuesday's attempt to launch a Falcon 9 rocket carrying cargo to the International Space Station make a historic mark and landed in the process. Twenty years after the first commander discovered an exoplanet, the planet orbited a major star, but not on an orb. The celestial bodies that had their stride. Astronomers have proved that they can accurately tell this ancient star from how fast it is spinning. We know that the stars slowed down over time, but when really there was little data to support exact calculations. Raleigh, North Carolina, state health officials say at least nine people died from influenza in North Carolina during the week of Christmas. And in New Brunswick, New Jersey, Johnson and Johnson began tested an A ball vaccine and humans intended to counter a strain of the virus. Similar to one that was weak to havoc in West Africa. Alright, take a look at stock market report here at 845. Dow features 17441.9. SP features 2015 and a quarter down three quarters and NASDAQ 4160. Down one and three quarters here. European Dex 95 68.62 up 95.46. FTSA 63.98.50 down 18.66. CAC 40 41.24.63 up 13.28. Dow Jones Nikkei 68.83.19 down 525.52. At 
Shake high, 33.53 below 1, up 2.4, down. HSI, 23.485.41, down 235.91. In the U.S. stock market report, it down to 17.501.65, down 331.34. SP5 for 2020.38 down 37.62. Nasdaq 2652.37 down 74. Put 24. Oil markets 49 for 21 down 83 cents. Brent 52.14 down 97 cents. And natural gas 2.849 down 33,000 a point. In the gold markets 1211 up 7.30. Silver 16.265 up 52,000 a point. And copper 2.765 up 1. Down 1,000 a point. In the bonds, US 10 yield to 1.9678, down 69,000 a point. German 10 yield 0.446%, down 67,000 a point. Germany 10 yield 0.293%, up 5,000 a point. European US style 1.1899, down 32,000 a point. US style Germany is at 118.96, down 67 cents. And Great Britain US style 1.5172, down 76,000 a point. And in New England, it's where? Sayer? Oh, let's move it on to sports. Sayer? When a Cleveland Cavaliers need an offensive and defense help against perimeter, as the New York Knickerbockers went to depth salary, create more salary cap space the next season. And Randy Johnson's first time off, if Kessie has probably discussed in his place as the possibly the best left handed pitcher in baseball history. And last night, the Boston Celtics lose to the Charlotte 105 94. Tonight, the North Lancers, boys, Basketball game will be at Norton High tonight at 6:30. Take it on the Westwood Wolverines. Peter Chell News on 847. Take a look at our traffic situation here on this Monday morning, on this Tuesday morning during 6 2015 here. And it shows Southeast Expressway on the north right side. It's backed up from Quincy all the way out to Dorchester. Best back on the east side side is backed up from 120 Western all the way down to the Austin Brighton Tolls. Best back west side side is backed up from Logan Airport all the way down to South Boston. 93 on the south side side is backed up from Stoneham all the way down to the Zaken Bridge and down to the Tipper Hill Tunnel. Route 1 south side slow from Route 16 and Everett all the way down through the Lever Connector in Boston here. Can tunnels will move off fine very slowly here. Route 120 on the north side is backed up Route 9 in Wellesley, all the way out to Route 20 Waltham. 120 on the south side is backed up from Route 3 Burlington, all the way down through Waltham here. Route 3, we have an accident. Route 3, we have an accident between. The Burlington Bill Ricker line is so expect delays here, but otherwise 39395 a ball five from 128 to the New Hampshire border here. Route 128 is more fine for Burlington all the way down for cluster. 45 is more fine from 128 to the 45 is more fine from Amesbury down for Wareham. Route 3 of the southbound side, it's a little slow around Sagmore, and Route 6 westbound a little slow east approach to Sagmore Bridge due to win. Incident on Route 6 or expect delays. Route 3, a little slow from Weymouth all the way down for Braintree, but otherwise. 95, 24, Bull Alpha from 128 to the Red Island border. Route 3 is Bull Alpha from Braintree down for Sagmore. All the highways in Worcester and Bull Alpha, near 290, 190, and then Mass Pike at 395. And take a look at the Providence area traffic outlook here. 99, the northbound side is a little slow from Cumberland down for Woodsocket. 146 south and backed up from Route 15 down for 95. 95 south and slow from Pawtucket down for downtown Providence. 95 northbound is backed up for the airport connector all the way down for downtown Providence. 195 on the westbound side is backed up from 140 to Seacock all the way down for 95 in Providence here. And 295 is more five for Malibu down for work. Peter and Chella News at 8.50 and it is time now for a little weather report here on this Tuesday morning here. Our current conditions here in North Massachusetts. It's 60 degrees with... Air skies, humidity of 54%, wind speed west about 6 miles per hour, 3.34 inches, 2.2 degrees below zero. Visibly 10 miles and wind chill about 7 degrees above zero. Current conditions around the region here. It's 16 in Boston, 14 in Pittsburgh, 13 in Bedford, 14 in 
Beverly and Gloucester in April, it's 10 in Worcester, 13 in Surbridge, 14 in Webster, 15 in Norwood, 16 in Taunton, and New Bedford, and 18 in Plymouth, 19 in Palmas, and it's 16 in Palmas, 17 in Chatham, 19 in Cape Cod Bay, and then second, it's 18 in Martha's Vineyard, 19 in Block Island, 17 in West Louis, 16 in Providence, 16 in Smithfield, 21 in New York City, 20 in Nislip, 21 in Montauk, 20 in Long Island, it's 19 in Bridgeport, 18 in New Haven, 16 in Denbury, 16 in Waterbury, 17 in Meriden, 18 in Hartford, 16 in Winslow, it's good accurate. It's 14 in Springfield, 12 in Ambers, 13 in Greenfield, 11 in Daffall, 10 in Pittsfield, 12 in Duff Abs. It's 14 in Albany, New York. It's 11 in Saratoga Springs, 10 in Bainton, 8 in Brown, Vermont, 9 in Rutland, Vermont, 10 in Keene, Hampshire, 9 in Jefferson, Hampshire, 4 above in Lebanon, New Hampshire, 7 in Lincoln, and Concord, Hampshire, and Portland, Maine, 11 in Manchester, Hampshire, 13 in National, Hampshire, and 14 up in Portland, New Hampshire. Here. All right, let's take a look at our service map. It shows a photo map from East Central Saskatchewan, stretching out of South Central Manitoba up to Northwestern Ontario, and a photo map from Northern Ontario, deal from North Central Michigan here. A photo map off the Denver, California coastline from Sef, off San Francisco, down to San Diego. Another photo map from South Eastern Nevada up to Western Arizona, down to Gulf of California. Photo map from Western Texas with a low pressure in Western Texas here, and South Central Illinois and Western Virginia is here, and Western. Central Wyoming. We've got some high pressure in eastern Idaho, northwestern Colorado, eastern Nebraska, northern Louisiana, and southern Texas, and New Jersey here. And high pressure off the California coastline here. 10 above in Detroit, 15 in Pittsburgh, 24 in Washington, D.C., 31 in Atlanta, 72 in Miami, Florida, 49 in Brownsville, Texas, 30 in Dallas, Texas, 16 in Kansas City, 1 above in Chicago, Illinois, 3 below in Minneapolis, St. Paul, 3 above in Omaha, and Nebraska. 8 in Great Falls, Montana, 48 in Seattle, 45 in San Francisco, 58 in Los Angeles, it's 40 in Las Vegas, 32 in Salt Lake City, 29 in Denver, 33 in Albuquerque, New Mexico, and 46 in Phoenix, Arizona. Here. Alrighty, let us take a look at our radar situation around the country here. And it shows some And great on satellite photo, it shows some clouds covering much of the region here with some snow flurries around Greenfield and Nathal, Massachusetts. Snow around Amherst, Holyoke, and around Springfield and stretching out of Mass Pack. And snow down out of Southern Great Britain and the Nova and northwestern portion of the Connecticut and western portion of the Connecticut. Some snow showers around Windham and Alpha Norwich. And some snow showers around snow around New York City and from A7. Interstate A7 from New York, stretching it down to Cairo, New York, and snow around the Albany and Schenectady area. So, take a look at Springfield, Massachusetts here, and it shows some snow, snow showers around the Springfield area here, and snowing around the Hartford area, and snowing around New York City here as we zoom you out. Of the region here, and it shows some snow showers around New York State, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, down for Maryland, Delaware, Northern Virginia, and Northern West Virginia, down for Southern Ohio, down for Central Indiana. Snow showers in southwestern portions of Michigan, Western Ontario, Central Ontario, and wow, get some rain showers between Southern Tip of Florida and West Tip of Cuba, and some rain showers by the Central portions of Texas, rain showers in North Central Idaho, down for Northwestern portions of Montana, and Northeastern portions of Washington State. And some snow sh and sleet showers in eastern portions of British Columbia, and some snow showers in south central portions of Alberta, and in northeastern portions of Montana here. With some clouds right there here. Okay, let us take a look at our forecast discussion around the country. Show some lake effect snow for the Great Lakes and snow for the high northern high plains. The temperature will be 20 to 30 degrees below average over the plains and Mississippi Valley on Wednesday. Clipper system over the Ohio Valley will move off the Middle Atlantic coast. By Tuesday evening, as a system of produce snow over the northern Middle Atlantic on Tuesday morning, that will move off the northeast coast by Tuesday evening. Meanwhile, cold air moving over the Great Lakes will upper level energy moving over the area will produce lake effect snow downward from the Great Lakes by Wednesday evening. Cold air pressure over the west central Canada will move southeastward to the Central up plays by Wednesday evening as circulation will around the high will produce up slope flow, which will turn in a development of snow over the now nine plains by late Tuesday night and simply easterly flow off the western Gulf of Mexico with produce scattered light rain over the southern tip of Texas by Wednesday evening here.
And take a look at the forecast this semester and around the region here, and it shows a week. Low pressure may bring a period of light snow today at Arctic Front Passes Front Wednesday, which may produce a few snow showers and squalls. Plus three and bitterly cold conditions are expected Wednesday night into Thursday. More snow showers are possible Thursday night and Friday. Main dry conditions the next week with some below normal temperatures and only minor tweaks in the forecast this morning. Fed up on the ground, a mid and high level clouds based on a 3.9 micro satellite imagery and surface surface observation also front near term. Temperatures back in line with observed trends. The closest observed snowfall to the southern New England at 7 a.m. was across eastern Pennsylvania and New Jersey, seven hours away. And today's highs, we'll see 21 for Boston. It is 17 in Compton, New Hampshire, 19 in Port Maine, 14 in Rutland, Vermont, 19 in Albany, New York. It's 18 in Worcester, Massachusetts, 21 in Boston, 22 in Hartford, and 26 in New York City. And dangerous cold air will arrive since some of the week, most of the week, especially Wednesday night and Thursday. And here's some safety tips to deal with this cold weather. Minimize outdoor activities, particularly the elderly and very young. Also, consider your pets. Be a good neighbor. Check with elderly relatives and friends who may need additional assistance to ensure their safety. Dress in several layers of loose-fitted, lightweight clothing rather than a single layer of heavy clothing. And our garments should be tightly woven and water repelled. Wear a hat, mittens, and sturdy waterproof boots. Protect your extremities. Cover your mop with a scarf to protect your lungs. Excessive exposure could lead to frostbite, which is damaging to a body tissue if frozen. Frostbite causes the loss of field and pale appearance in extremities such as fingers, toes, earlobes, or the tip of the nose. It's simply detected. Seek metal out immediately. When you lose an alternate heated source, such as your fireplace, wood stove, or a space heater, take the necessary safety precautions. Keep a fire extinguisher handy. Ensure that everyone knows how to use it properly. Test muck lobs and cat carbon monoxide detectors. To keep pipes from freezing wet, the middle of the layers of newspapers cover the newspapers with plastic to keep out moisture. Allow a trickle of warm water to run from a faucet that is a farthest from your water meter or what it is frozen in the past. This will keep the water moving so it cannot freeze. Learn how to shut it off your water if a pipe bursts. Here. <coughs> okay, let's take a look at our seven-day forecast. It goes like this. Here. As everybody needs to be safe Wednesday night and Thursday because it is going to be very cold out. But today, chance of snow showers made between noon and 4 p.m. Class clouds will hide at 21 degrees left west wind. Chance of precipitation to the 30% total daytime snow accumulation is less than enough inch possible. Tonight, cloudy skies are gradually becoming a pop class cloud low about 50 degrees calm wind. For Wednesday, slight chance of snow showers between 3 p.m. and 4 p.m. But most class clouds hide at 26 degrees left west wind increase at 10 to 50 miles per hour morning. Chance of precipitation is 20%. Whether that, most of the coast are lower at 2 degrees and west wind chill values as low as 19 below zero and northwest wind about 11 to 50 miles per gust size, 30 miles per hour. Friday, say, sky skies are about 80 degrees. West wind about 7 to 9 miles per gust size, 24 miles per hour. Friday, that, chance of snow showers mainly after 3 a.m. Most of the coast are lower at 50 degrees. Chance of precipitation is 30%. Friday, that, chance of snow showers before 11 a.m. Most of the coast are high about 32 degrees. Chance of precipitation is 40%. Friday, that, most of the coast are lower at 50 degrees. For Saturday, Saturday, Park Cast got about 27, low about 40 degrees. For Sunday, Park Cast got to most of got have about 33, low about 22 degrees. And for Monday, Park Cast got have about 37 degrees. Here's what a phrase of the day. Snow shower chats today. Period. Good day. What a good Monday to you.